Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I've got Liquid Smooth ROM for Galaxy S3 which is the version 2.10 Okay, so uh, about this ROM, it is an AOSP based ROM and uh, well, I would call this to be the standard ROM Okay, because it has all the features of a standard ROM and what a ROM should have so uh, it's pretty neat what you just saw is the uh, AOSP style boot and um, AOSP style lock screen which is this one okay pretty standard pretty neat uh, it has the weather screen which this is the clock that is Cronus clock you just saw cell uh, broadcast which I don't know has been misfunctioning I guess so uh, let's get into it here is the launcher which is Nova launcher so this comes with the Nova launcher it's uh really similar to the um which one uh the slim rom so it has a lot of features which are from the slim rom also so that's pretty neat so uh let's get into the settings so you, you see the quick uh settings right it is supposed to be on the base rom of uh android 4.3 yes it is based on android 4.3 okay you can have uh the dev uh, list of the liquid rom liquid smooth rom uh, team okay so it is liquid smooth version 2.10 official so pretty neat uh, the latest one is this one okay again based on baseband of CEE MG2 um, okay status it works pretty much on all, all levels okay the IMEI works I don't think uh, AOSP based roms does change the modem so no problems there now about the ROM it is really a smooth ROM the name does live up to the expectation okay it is liquid smooth yes uh, it is a bare bones ROM with a few features for the boot okay now uh, let's start uh, it has dark liquid which uh, uh, inverts the uh, G apps and it has this effect right it is a normal one you can turn on dark liquid and have this one pretty neat so uh, what else so interface customize options are for the ROM okay let's see it has halo that's pretty neat halo works pretty neat let's enable that it's going to have a big uh, introduction to it here is halo it's really neat uh, halo size you can have minuscule halo I really keep it at minuscule it doesn't have ninja mode I don't know it is it seems like an old version of uh, Halo like it is uh, the latest version I guess is the 2.0 version it is uh, a bit old version so uh, hardware key you can change the hardware configuration so pretty neat notification drawer okay for the this thing okay notification drawer behavior expand old style the JB style or whatever you want background portrait you can change that uh, carrier label etc recent in RAM bar okay you can have a recent uh, application bar application and cache and application cache and other you can see that right uh, let me show you guys okay here is what it was mentioning uh, it has 502 megs used RAM 330 free pretty neat it also has this um, kill all app so again pretty neat let's go to settings again interface in, in interface the other settings tablet settings like you have the ability to change the LCD density expose DPI installer it comes with that so exposed frameworks are installed uh, so you don't have to worry about that uh, default upgrade uh, a feature from the uh, uh, I guess the ASP has it uh, you can change the upgrade like select the default app to the ICS style so if you are if you want uh, to select an app with just one click you can use that clock widget is the Cronus uh, C clock from Cyanogen mod pretty neat vibration multiply you can select the intensity of vibration so great now uh, lock screen lock screen has a lot of settings um, it has eight targets targets um, all of these settings which are actually th these are standard settings as I've said this is a standard ROM with all the settings which you need on a ROM so pretty neat navigation bar it has nav, nav bar settings you can have nav buttons targets etc you have to enable that first I'm not going to enable that performance control uh, to overclock the CPUs etc you can change the governors uh, 
kernel etc pi controls are available you can have pi controls uh, if enabled um, you can select the area uh, the area where the pi controls will appear i think it is uh, in this trigger options yeah here it is okay you can have the area you can change it too so neat yeah pi works status by info on the pi pretty neat again okay power menu you can change whatever appears here okay so it's neat you can have screenshot too pretty neat again power widgets these is these are from the uh, uh cyanogen mod i guess okay these things are the power widgets you can select what all are there you can select the buttons you can select the order it's pretty neat again nice brightness location okay on the bottom or uh, on the um, top again okay. widget button order i will be showing you guys that okay now uh what else quick settings are these settings for uh this you have a bunch of other settings to be used aosp doesn't have that this one has style uh how many uh tiles per row great what else styles and layout this is where you can select uh, different tiles for uh, your quick settings panel so pretty neat it has all these settings available now uh, status bar like you can change the battery icon it doesn't have a lot of battery icon but it does well I just reviewed the dirty unicorn so it had a lot of icons so comparing to that is not a fair deal I guess so yeah it does have a lot of them uh, animation speeds like charging animation and all is pretty neat again uh, notification opacity you can select if, if you want it transparent you can have it transparent or t black you f if you want that it's then it's good uh, pretty neat again what about status bar by this control quick peek okay quick peek is this that if you are running a full screen app if you want ever want to uh, well look at the status bar you can just swipe then you will be able to see the status bar there and then you can uh, swipe down for the full status bar, full notification panel and all it does have breathing sms and breathing miss call so the notification light will be breathing so pretty neat again now uh, rest of the settings are uh, standard settings for an aosp it does have privacy protection for the uh, like the uh, 4.3 promises so it, ha it does have those features av available developer settings pretty neat again uh, not anything different these di the different settings are in that uh, in this one customization okay and interface these are the different settings for liquid smooth what is liquid smooth well as I've said this is one ROM which really lifts up to this uh, name okay it is really smooth it doesn't lag a bit I have used this uh, previous versions of this with a lot of apps installed it has been uh, one of my daily ROMs and it really stacks up it's really neat so uh, let me show you guys the boot animation so here is the boot animation which is uh, some kind of liquid okay it is liquid smooth it's really awesome great boot animation i really like it it's a full screen boot animation really neat so um i guess that is it about a uh, liquid smooth rom uh it's really a fast rom actually it does stack up i couldn't take the um the benchmark of it i will like to show you guys the benchmark result on a on the description okay so um i guess that is it uh hope you guys like the video subscribe like and share the video if you really like it um see you guys next time bye